All right, this is apportionment using Webster's method. Okay, just like Jefferson and uh, Adam's method, uh, we have a lot of the same steps here. We're finding a suitable divisor. Um, we are using that to compute each state's modified quota. And then uh, this time the rounding is uh, once again a little different. Uh, with Jefferson's, we talked about using uh, lower quota. With Adams, we uh, used upper quota. Well, this time we're just going to round like normal. Okay, so use the normal 0.5 rule. If the, if the decimal is 0.5 or higher, you round up. If it's lower than 0.5, you round back down to get the, uh, the lower or upper quota for each state. All right, so and here's the diagram once again. It's kind of similar. Uh, if we get, and I've talked about this before in Jefferson's method, so I'm going to go a little quicker in this video. So if you haven't watched the video on Jefferson's method, I kind of cover everything a little slower in more detail, so you may want to go back and watch that. Um, but we're, when we're finding a divisor, remember that if the divisor is too small, or I'm sorry, if the number of seats is too small in the end. So uh, if, if, oops, that's the larger one. If the number of seats is too small in the end, uh, we'll mean to, need to make that divisor a little smaller to get the numbers to work out the way we want them. If the number of seats is, um, get rid of that. If the number of seats is a little bit larger, then we'll make that divisor smaller and we'll repeat that process until we get the seats to add up to what they're supposed to add up to. All right, here's the step two, and this is where all the work is really done. Um, let's look at this third column here where it says standard quota, um, and then the div standard divisor is 50,000. So that's going back when we started the problem. That was our standard divisor, 50,000. And um, all these numbers under 50,000, these add up to a perfect 250, but again, we have to round so each state has an exact number of seats. So instead of rounding all the way up for every single one of them or all the way down, uh, what we're going to do is just round conventionally. So uh, for example here, 32.92 rounds to 33, 38.72 rounds to uh, 139, and then 3.08 rounds down to 3. So use your normal rounding rules here, 41.82 rounds up to 42, okay? And we do all that, it looks like it comes out to be, two, hold on a minute, one of my, the pause button on this app is in the way, I can't see what that number is, let me add those numbers up really quick. <laughs> uh, that's 33 plus 139 plus 3 plus 42 plus 14 plus 20. Okay, so 251. So we're a little high. Uh, what that means is we're going to need to make our divisor a little larger. So we're only off by one seat, so we don't need to go up by much. So, for instance, we'll choose a number uh, just a tad bit larger, so the 50,100 instead. Um, so now when we divide every population by that, so 1,646,000 divided by 50,100, We'll get, this is our new answer, so this rounds to 33 still. We divide B's population by the new divisor, 50,100, we get 138.44. And uh, this, unlike the previous column where it rounded up to 139, this is going to round down to 138. So this, is, uh, this makes a little bit of a difference here. And I think the other ones end up being the same. 3.07 still rounds to 3. 41.74 rounds up to 42, uh, but in the end, we get uh, the 250 that we needed. So uh, that's just Webster's method. It's again, it's very similar to Hamilton or not Hamilton, uh, Jefferson's and Adams method, except you're just using conventional rounding uh, when getting the whole numbers for the for the seats for each state. Okay, so now we have a chart of uh, all the methods. Uh, with the results. Uh, on the top we have the populations that add up to 12,500,000 and with each method in each video we we found the divisor that worked and we got those 250 seats in the end. 
uh, but let's compare the results uh, for each state. So, for instance, um, let's look at Hamilton's method. So way back in that video, we talked about having surplus seats and having to hand out those surplus seats. Um, so it looks like, um, remember in Hamilton's, you had to round down and then give a surplus seat. So state A was given a surplus seat. State B was given a surplus seat. And state D was given a surplus seat, and so was state F. But notice that states C and states E uh, were not, so maybe not fair for them. Okay, uh, Jefferson's method, we had to create a divisor uh, so that there was no surplus and everything added up to 250 in the end, and we used the lower quota to make that happen. Um, let's look at who went up and who went down in that case. So uh, it looks like uh, state A, Jefferson's method, went up. State B went way up, okay? And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, state C went back down. Uh, state D got to go up a seat. Uh, state E stayed down. And state F stayed down as well. Okay, so it didn't work out for as many people. Um, now, the remember the real unfair thing about this, and we talked about this in the Jefferson's method video, um, is that upper quota violations can be produced here. So uh, with state B, with state B here, with that 138.72, they should only have 138 or 139 seats, but they were given 140 in Jefferson. So just kind of a recap of that upper quota of violation. Um, all right, next let's look at Adams' method. Okay, so um, with Adams' method, remember we had to do the upper quota. So let's look at who uh, benefited from that and who didn't. So uh, in Adams' method, it looks like state A went uh, to its upper quota. State B um, went way down in this case, so the complete opposite of the last scenario. So um, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, state C got to go up to 4. State D went up. State E went up. And State F went up. So they all went up, except, uh, again, we have another violation, but this time it's a lower quota violation. So uh, we have this issue with State B where uh, the 138.72, again, state B shouldn't have less than 138 or more than 139, but they were given 137, so lower quota violation. So Adam's method, not always fair either. Uh, lastly, let's look at what happened with the Webster's method. Uh, we got, uh, for state A, we got 33, and so state A got to go up, uh, state B stayed down in Webster's method. State C stayed down as well in Webster's method. State D went up. State E went up. And uh, state F went up. And I'm, again, I'm getting this. I'm looking at the number in the standard quota uh, row and looking to see where that went. Uh, so... For this one, states B and C didn't get to go up a seat, but the good thing about Webster's method is that uh, no one got slighted that bad. There were no upper quota violations or lower quota violations, so this is the one that uh, tends to be more fair than the others. It's not perfect, but it is a little bit better.